Among the economic products of timber, the commercial process of pulping to make paper products is of prime significance. Forest timber is cut into segments of large or small branches and brought to the paper mill by train or truck. The long cords of timber may be gathered and cut into short segments by a large bandsaw. One means of transporting the short cords to the mill is by a waterway to float the timber in its current. The trunk and branch segments arrive at a conveyor which first carries the logs to a system that removes the bark which is not suitable for the manufacture of paper products. Inside of the debarker is a large rotating drum, shown here separately, that abrades the bark from the wood. The bark may be burned or used for other purposes. The wood is then run through a chipper as a first step in preparing it for making pulp. The size of the chips can be seen in the handheld view. The chips are conveyed and dropped into the top of a digester containing steam and strong alkaline products. The digester is first seen open but when operating is closed under pressure and the strong action of heat, pressure and chemical activity separates the wood cells by maceration. The macerated wood or raw pulp is then drawn on rotating drums where it is washed to remove the chemical ingredients. The pulp forms a mat that is still pigmented by the natural color of the wood. When viewed microscopically, this hardwood pulp shows vessel members, tracheids, and libriform fibers. One can identify the types of trees from which the pulp was derived by knowing the anatomy of the xylem. The pulp may be bleached with various agents to make white paper products. After starch and other additives are added to alter the consistency of the final product. The bleached pulp is washed out and run through a number of large rollers covered with felt. The pulp is subjected to pressure, high temperature, and step by step this compresses and smooths the product into a sheet of the paper product. The final sheet of paper is represented by a continuous roll that can later be cut and used for printing, container formation, and a variety of other products. Large rolls are packaged and prepared for shipment nationally and throughout the world.